Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Plasticville Hobo Junction Kit. I've got all the pieces laid out before me for the Hobo Jungle. I had wanted this set mainly just because of the random small buildings. I can't really commit to large buildings apparently, but small shacks and whatnot, that just seems a little easier. First impression, I think there's some pretty nice detail on these pieces. A lot of texture and added little bits. Uh, of course, paint would help, but you could really use these just as they are. I mean, the roofs are pretty interesting, you know, lots of texture. And I think if I were <laughs> good at weathering and painting, uh, these would look amazing. But uh, maybe this would be a good set to practice on. It says in the directions that glue isn't needed, but then right away, this one's kind of not exactly going to stay together. Uh, I don't have the proper glue. Maybe I'll just try some super glue and see how it goes. This is funny. It says eat and it says gas, but gas is backwards. That's not going to stay together by itself. A proper modeling jig, of course, would make more sense. And I'll have to add one to uh, the list of tools I need. But for now, I think this will be okay. Good to see the Porter John actually has some holes so that people have somewhere to go. The doors are labeled his and hers. The outhouse seems a little out of shape. It's like this side's sticking out a little much. Maybe I can get a little bit of glue in there to hold it in place. Yeah, I'll glue that on because that otherwise is just going to continuously fall off. See? Let's see, what's it say back here? Chow. It says chow on the back of this building, but pardon me, I am not eating anything out of this establishment. Is it leaning or am I doing it wrong? Shack with slanted roof. That doesn't really say much. See what else. Well, let's go back to the uh, outhouse here. I'll put that to the side. And then the large building is a covered box car. So for this one, we actually have a bottom and we have these stands that it goes on. I don't want to glue those in because maybe I don't want the city on that. But for the time being, I'll do it. Well, they messed up the, uh, the photo anyway. They show the notch going to the back, the notch in the floor, but that's the front. If this is a boxcar, then why is it peaked like a shack? This one is actually snapping together a little better than the others. It will still need some glue. Got an awning. A door would be nice. Okay, they do say to put it in from the back. I do kind of feel like I'm going to break it doing that, though. There we go.
I got a big embossed R on the side. Definitely interesting little models. sides to the base in case I don't want to use the base at all. I won't glue the roof on because I'll probably want to, if I end up using it, put something on the inside, lights or people or whatever. This shack doesn't have a door. It's got well, this canvas thing that could drop down over it. I find that to be an odd choice, especially when you consider it's got this for the window. It sort of fits. I think I got too much on there, but at least it won't be coming out. Can never have too many outhouses. Uh, there's a door for this one. overlaps a little but it probably would anyway <laughs> they even have a broken part of the window there it's a neat little touch i mean i really do like all the little details that they've molded into this a lot of texture i really am gonna have to try to you know do some paint on these i'll have to watch some videos i don't know how to do it so these two little smokestacks do have different size pegs so they only fit into one Now I could glue the top on these because they don't have bottoms, but I can also just leave it alone. The top will sit on there just fine. What about this one? Yeah, those tops sit on there without falling off. Let's go back to the, uh, the box car here. Take that roof off. I don't know where that goes, I gotta find that. Who's got holes in the back? I'm going to say it goes back here. I still want to work on doing custom smoke units for buildings, and I think it would be a lot of fun to have smoke coming out of this one. Of course, I'd have to redo the smokestack there, but that's, that's fine. That would be an interesting part. It wouldn't have to produce much smoke either because <laughs> too much smoke and the place would be on fire. stairs nicely snap into place. I'd say that's the <laughs> that was the best fitting part of any of them. So I'm not going to glue that because it fit nicely and also if I ever take it off the platform and put it on the ground I probably wouldn't want the stairs. On these ends these two are different. This here kind of matches up with that and then on the other side this kind of metal patch lines up with one on the front. So I guess it does kind of matter which one you put them on. Only if it's going to bother you though if you do it wrong. A cool little set. Three buildings in an outhouse in one box. I'd say that's a pretty good value. The details on all these, while everything's kind of monochromatic, uh, really does look good. Um, they can really work just as they are, but I, I'm hoping, I hope I have the confidence to get in here and do a little bit of painting. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy, uh, just some light washes maybe to add some depth. I think that would really improve them maybe put in some, or at least on this shack, maybe I'll put in some windows and some lights. I know I have flickering LEDs. I wonder if you'd be able to see them you know, flickering like a candle inside a small building like that. I mean, obviously not when all the lights are on in here because this is a pretty bright room, but in a low light situation, it might look good. Every task is a new opportunity to do something different. Maybe I should wait until the glue dries to start messing with it. So a neat little set from Plasticville. 
three buildings in an outhouse. That's a fun, easy little build and gives you some good variety for shacks on your layout. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.